the latest Chrome version 80 has a very interesting feature that might put an end to cross-site request forgery. Let's discuss. So yesterday, the Google Chrome YouTube channel have put in a video discussing the latest features of their 80th release. And one of the interesting features was the update they made to the default settings of cookies, specifically same site cookies. So I'm going to play in the, the video, uh, essentially just a part of the video discussing that. From Chrome 80, all cookies without a same site attribute will be treated as if they had same site lack specified. In other words, they will be restricted to first party only. If you need third party cookies, then they must be marked with same site equals none and secure. This also means that third party cookies will only be sent over HTTPS connections. So as you saw, the change is regarding a, a default setting change to cookies behavior to uh, for the same site attribute, okay? So first of all, what does, the, what does the same site attribute mean, right? And we have discussed the same site attribute in previous videos. I'm gonna reference the videos here. But in a nutshell, the same site attribute was introduced in Chrome and other browsers, I think I would say two years ago, some, 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 some sort of like that uh, in the time frame, And the reason was, security really okay and there is this attack called cross-site request forgery where a, an attacker can have a form in their in their website that actually makes a post request even or a get request to a legitimate website okay and uh, and do a malicious stuff right so an example of this cross-site uh, request forgery. So what will happen is I will have a shady.com website, okay, and what, I'll, what I will do essentially is I will have a form that submits a transfer request to Bank of America, okay, and it does a post request to transfer $1 million from the account that is currently logged in to a shady account, okay, with a post request and, and a lot of applications have this right so it does a post request right the problem is like we say i was saying that's fine but they are not logged in they cannot steal my stuff right well wait a second right what will happen is you will be logged into bank of america on your browser right so you have cookies and what will happen is if you go to bank of america.com and you enter that's fine the browser will send those cookies that's how bank of america will recognize you right or, or your bank or any other application so if my application, my website, shady.com, had a post request that, and I know the API of Bank of America says, okay, post, fetch, uh, fetch, make a fetch request, and HTTPS, bankofamerica.com slash transfer, and I put my account ID, right? And I do a post request, okay? Without the same site attribute, the cookies will be sent, despite it being on another completely different website. Just the act of visiting that shady.com will activate a post request to Bank of America and browser says, oh, we're going to Bank of America. Here, oh, I do have cookies for Bank of America. Here you go. And Bank of America will recognize as if you are intentionally making that transfer. And that is extremely bad. So what they did is essentially they introduced the same site cookie. So these cookies will not be sent unless we are on the same site. So if I am in the, the top domain, the actual address says Bank of America, and the link goes to Bank of America or the post request, post request or the post request coming from Bank of America, that the cookies will be sent. Okay. And there is like different attributes for the same site, right? Like there is a little relaxed version, the lax version, which allow get requests to actually send the cookies, but disallow post requests, right? And that's the lax difference. There is none, that means allow it, allow 
cross domain cookies to be sent. That's fine, right? And there is the final one, which is Strict, which, which I love. This allow get or post request from sending cookies, okay? So with a change that Chrome did was the absence of the same side attribute in a cookie will now be treated as a laxed same site cookie. So what does that mean? That means if I'm in a shady.com, post requests to Bank of America to or any other website will not send cookies, so that request will fail, but get requests will actually succeed sending those, uh, will actually obviously succeed and it will send out the cookie. So if you have a link, and now you're on a shady.com site, and I click, and you click on that link, the cookies will be sent because it's a it's a relaxed version. That's how I, I remember it, right? So it's almost like a relaxed. So Git will send the cookies, post will prevent them. Strict will actually, they didn't do it as a strict for default because it will break the user experience. So it's like imagine you have links and you click on the Bank of America link, or you go to Facebook.com and you will have to always log in all the time. It's just infuriating example but i love it <laughs> so that's why i asked uh, the google team to actually have a flag option to set the uh, default cookies right without the same site attribute as a strict allow me to do that right allow me to change that i don't know if they did that or not but the question is will that change what will that change do to human being what will that do to us first of all it will break some applications because people, some applications definitely rely on this user experience that post requests will actually set, uh, send cookies, right? Send the cookies by default to cross site uh, domains. But the moment you upgrade to Chrome 80 or browsers definitely will, will follow up. I, I read on the MDN website, I'm gonna put it here. Actually, all the browsers will start having this behavior. The absence of the same site will send out the uh, Chrome, uh, well, the absence of the same site attribute on the cookie will uh, treat the cookie as a laxed cookie. That's, that's the final decision looks like and everybody, all the browsers will follow that pattern now. Okay, so now, Applications will definitely break. So what, what would developers have to do? They have, they are responsible for setting their cookies and regardless how they do it, probably from the server, when they set it back, that they have to set the same site as none. And not only that, none, it has to be also secured so that the cookies will only be transferred when the destination or the actual source is actually secure. And I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure it's both, right? If the cross domain is secure and the destination is secure. Plus, there's course always protecting your cross origin resource sharing, protecting yourself. There's so much protection here. But so the question is, will this prevent cross site request forgery attacks, right? Will this change prevent it? I would say absolutely yes, right? It will prevent 90% of the attacks. And this, this attack is now disappearing because of this, right? And you might say, Hussein, you're not absolutely correct because, well, the cookies will still get sent if I'm making a get request or, uh, I don't know, head request. I don't know who makes a head request, but for sure, right? If you make head, head, get request, you're still sending the cookies from cross-site domains, right? From shady.com, I can still send the cookies. But the damage that you can do with a get request is absolutely minimal, right? Unless you have written an application that does a state change with your get request and that I have no idea why would you do that. That's just bad, right? The semantics of a get request is supposed to be either important, shouldn't change the state, it's supposed to be safe attack, right? Safe attack, <laughs> safe uh, method. So if you're like sending the method, I can send it as many times as possible and it will not change the state, right? So you not make a transfer with a get request. That's why a lax, uh, actually attribute or value for the same side is actually more than enough, right? 
strict will even protect you even better if uh, for some reason you don't want that thing but like it's all good it's all good so that's all for me today and uh guys this was my first um, software news uh kind of uh, show and i am i want to do more of this kind of a show in the future just jump on a new story and just talking about software news so if you did like this video give it a like and let me know what can i improve the setting is definitely temporary i'll, I'll get a better camera i'll get a better lightning I'm, I'm in the sun now but yeah i'll, I'll fix all that stuff but well, what do you think of the content? Do you like this format, right? The software news thing. And I'm, I'm still figuring out the show and how I'm gonna do it. The rest of the videos will still come out as normal, you know, the videos I'll make about software engineering. But I wanna make a software news, specifically just talking about software news and nothing else, right? Like this one, right? If you like it, give it a like, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys, stay awesome.